Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to part 25 in Clive Barker's Hellraiser. This is a Boom comic series I am releasing here on the channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As we are now at part 25, if you've missed any of them, you'll find part 1 linked down below. I hope you check it out, and I hope you hit subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Also, just as a quick aside, if you have been enjoying these, please don't forget to leave a like as it really does help the channel out. That being said, let's dive right into it. We open to a man, upside down, chained handcuffed, chains tied to his feet, a cross around his neck, and standing before him with a blade is the vagrant, the lament configuration guardian in human form. He holds the blade up, Cutting the man's throat. Blood pours out. Down. Onto a part of the floor. And we see what he was doing. He was summoning. Someone. Something. Just as before when Frank pulled himself back from beyond. From the labyrinth. The vagrant. The homeless man. The lament configuration guardian has summoned someone back from beyond. And as the skeletal form pulls itself from the pool of blood, the vagrant thrusts the lament configuration in his face and says, Solve it! Bloody hell, get that fucking thing away from me! Terrified, he's seen this before, he knows what this is. The lament configuration guardian holds up the blade, threatens the man. Ah! Solve it now, or I send you back to hell. He hands over the lament configuration, the box, the puzzle piece, and the man begins to solve it. A crack in the wall appears, light beams through, as the gateway between dimensions has been summoned. And as the man looks at the light shining through from the labyrinth, a shadowy figure steps forth. You. Me. Good to finally meet you. It's Harry Damore, the new High Priest of Hell. Shame about the circumstances. Now, let's get you some skin. You're going to have to look presentable. I've got a job for you, Rajiv. It's Rajiv, or Jeeves, the man who worked with Tiffany. And we cut to Tiffany looking through binoculars. Stake out. This job blows. Shh! I mean, when the Pope of Hell gave us a job. I was kind of worried, but I wasn't worried about boredom. Shh! She means stop talking, Theo. The Church of Lost Salvation. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? But instead, shut up. And look. And then they started their service. Good Christ fucking. And we saw why you sent us here. Describe them. How? Most of them didn't stay in one shape for more than a moment. I don't know what they were. Tiffany is retelling this story to Harry Damore. These demon-like beings pulling themselves out of the priests. But they weren't like any Cenobites I've ever seen. They weren't Cenobites. They weren't even from Leviathan's realm. You've got my files, my research. Why did you think all the reports of Hell's activity were inconsistent? Because there's more than one Hell? Or one Hell with a bunch of circles or... Whatever. Don't ask me for specifics. I'm a long way from Sunday school. More hells. More demons. Ugh, great. So, what do you want us to do about them? Leave them alone? Is he fucking kidding? Damore said he'd get it taken care of. By who? We're supposed to be his agents on Earth, aren't we? 
I seem to recall you doing some bitching about that last night, Theo. Can a guy have mixed feelings about something, Norton? Didn't you ever feel ambivalent when you were still a government spook? You're overreacting. Remember, this is Harry we're talking about. His heart's in the right place. Look, Norton's hero worship aside, Harry Damore was a good dude. He helped me. Helped us all out a lot. And now he's Damore, the Pope of Hell. How do we know he's still the same guy? I don't like it either, Theo. Then what are we going to do? About the Church of Lost Salvation? There's nothing we can do. Until nightfall. And we cut to the church. Night. A congregation. Many have gathered. Our Father, who weren't in heaven. Now, solve it, like he showed you. The vagrant is there with Rajiv. The lament configuration box in his hand, and he solves it. Unhallowed be thy name, as the sermon continues. Thy kingdom come, your will be. The candles go out. Lights come down. Chains and hooks. We're under assault. In the name of the Old One. And there, a dimensional gateway has opened, and the Cenobites step forward. We see female and new Cenobite soldiers. Oh, yes. Invoke your false idols. How else will you learn? They're armed. They're ready to strike. That nothing can save you now. We see them come down with a cleaver. One gets cut in half. As Tiffany and her harrowers, the new harrowers, are underneath the church leading their own assault. The demons are getting obliterated left, right and centre, whereas one jumps down, biting a Cenobite soldier. And there, underneath the church, they have created their seal. But the Cenobites know this. What? They recognise it, they feel it. One of the demons launches an assault on a Cenobite. The female knows our inviability has been stripped away. But who here would draw the glyph of the salutant? A demon is ripping out the guts of a Cenobite. As the harrow is run in, female looks on. You! Have you any conception of what you have done? Tiffany, Theo and Norton, shocked, scared, they've realised. Uh, not as such? Do we help the uh, monstrous ones, the enemy of my enemy? Uh, those look like friendlies to you. As female lashes out at one of the demons. Tiffany, what's the plan? Figure it out later. Kill them all now! She raises her gun and starts unloading on the demons. The Cenobites are going down one after the other. But the guardian of the lament configuration begins to walk through the door, Rajiv behind him, and he changes, he alters, he rips his flesh off in an almighty roar. He becomes the serpent, the bony beast of hell, and he unleashes on the demons, ripping them in two. Oh Jesus, we are so fucked, Theo says, but he doesn't realise someone's running behind him with a sword. The man inches away, Ready to strike. Ah! Theo turns. What was the noise? Jeeves! Holy shit, man! You got your guts pulled out. How could you possibly be... Oh, shit. Theo realises what's gone on. How his friend is now here. Rajiv's hand is in the man's skull. Please. Please. <laughs> You're a... Uh, they brought you back. You... They brought you back as, as one of the zombie vampire guys. What the hell is going on? You've gotten yourself in the crossfire of a turf war between Leviathan servants and... And... Demons from a different hell, we know. But who invited the Cenobites? Jeeves holds up the box. I did. 
Hey! As he gets snatched off of him. If you're, if you're going to suck somebody's life out, Dracula, I've got him! Do it to help your friends! Theo points to the Norton, surrounded. Jeeves steps in, hands in the back of their skulls. He saves Norton. Rajiv! Thank you? That's all right. The man with the box escapes, running down the stairs. But he's playing with the box, trying to open it. Come on, come on! Back in the church, Tiffany swinging her axe. Norton, Theo and Rajiv are doing their best against the servants of this hell circle. The man outside with the box. God damn it! How hard is it to close this cursed thing? He's not trying to open it. He's trying to close it. Trying to get rid of the Cenobites. Female is there. A demon launches itself at her. Daggers up. One looks strangely familiar. Is it the one that she took from Marchetti? She launches it at the demon's skull. It's down. Now, with all but one dispatched. Norton. Female. Theo. Tiffany. And Rajiv. Surround the last demon standing. It begins to contort, its flesh shrinking, its bones snapping. It bundles itself away into a ball as it slips into its own dimension, its own hell. What just happened? Knowing the battle was lost, it returned to the hell that spawned it. What? Without a box? Never heard of a demon doing that. The servants of the other hells do not possess the same gifts as we who serve Leviathan, or the same frailties. Some can travel to the living world on their own power, and travel back as well. The man outside has solved the puzzle box. Female knows this. As she slips away, she reaches out for the dagger of Marchetti. Wait! As she goes. Where'd she go? One of the cultists got the puzzle from me. He must have closed the gate. Rajiv, how are you alive? Damore. Damore brought me back. He gave me a puzzle to solve at specific times and places. To give the Cenobites access to Earth. Jesus, that's fucked. That's it. He's gone too far. Tiffany reaches out grabs the dagger. It's time we take care of Demore, she says as she holds the dagger of Marchetti. 